Hey there, it's Kristen and Shannon, the Barleen CB Divas, here to share the complex and amazing world of terpenes. So first things first, what do the distinctive fragrances of lemons, pine needles, lavender, lilac, and cannabis have in common? They all come from terpenes, aromatic compounds produced by plants and bees. And let me tell you, I'm excited about this one, Shannon, because I love learning about terpenes. All right, all bite. Why do you love them so much? Because they are the fragrance of nature, they're what make essential oils essential oils, and they're about so much more than smelling good. Fair enough. Maybe I love terpenes too. So how about we share what they are, highlight a few of the more intriguing ones, and lastly, talk about how they relate to CBD and the ECS. Cool. Okay. So we all know the power of scent. For example, the scent of freshly baked cookies will bring a smile to anyone's face, as opposed to, say, a baby diaper in need of changing. <laughs> Tell me about it. I think that's something not just new parents can relate to. Yeah. Give me cookies any day. But joking aside, scent can affect your mood, state of mind, make us nostalgic, the list goes on. Think about it. It's what the aromatherapy industry is based on. Right, and uniqueness of each scent is based on terpenes. So what are they? Well, quite simply, terpenes are the aromatic oils found in many plants and even some insects. So let's share a few facts. There are somewhere between 150 to 200 terpenes identified in the cannabis plant and we first harness the power of terpenes with aromatherapy. So think of lavender, it has the calming terpene linalool, and citrus with the invigorating terpene limonene. Terpenes have benefits associated to them and have been used in traditional medicine, massage, meditation, and perfumes for ages. And super interesting to note, scientists theorize one of the primary functions of terpenes might be a form of communication between plants and insects to repel pests and send alerts and work together. That is so fascinating. So when people smell CBD oil derived from hemp and they say, that smells like pot, what they're actually smelling are the terpenes. And since hemp and marijuana come from the same plant genus, Cannabis sativa L, they can smell similar. I'm starting to really get a sense of why you love to learn about terpenes. I know, right? Some of them are even really fun to say. Okay, so speaking of, what are some of the more common terpenes out there? Well, since we're focusing on CBD and hemp in this series, let's talk about the two most abundant terpenes found in cannabis plants. First, there's myrcene, which is the primary terpene in cannabis plants. It has sedative or relaxing properties, and you can find it in mangoes and lemongrass. Limonene is the second most abundant and commonly found in various citrus fruits. It has powerful antifungal and antibacterial properties and may enhance your mood. So some other common terpenes are pinene, linalool, beta carophyllene, and humulene. So now that we've got down what terpenes are, did you know that without them, cannabinoids like CBD would lose some of their power? And why is that, you might ask? Well, terpenes can intensify or downplay the effects of cannabinoids like CBD due to their relationship with the receptors in our endocannabinoid system, or ECS. Which is a system of cell receptors in our bodies. Exactly. So for example, beta carophyllene directly activates CB2 receptors, while myrcene binds with receptors. These are both examples of terpenes engaging with our ECS. An analogy that may help wrap your head around this is, think of a train and the conductor. Cannabinoids do the heavy lifting, they're like the train's engine, and the terpenes would be the conductor leading the train down the track to the right destination. Yeah, I like it. That makes it easy to understand. So what you're saying is, terpenes are a major player in what is known as the entourage effect. Which is when all the beneficial compounds of the hemp plant work together. And this all ties into what a full spectrum CBD hemp oil is all about, and that's another webinar. But remember, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts when cannabinoids, terpenes, and other plant compounds work together as nature intended. I guess it's safe to say terpenes pass the smell test. That's right, and like we like to say at Barleen's, Carpe, Carpe CBDM. CBDM.